This video is about the Counter-Reformation. Counter-Reformation lasted from 1545 to 1781. Some historians say the end of this period is the Thirty Years' War. And they're not wrong. That is right, because afterwards religion and denomination was less and less important. But formally, you can see the end of the Patent of Tolerance by Joseph II, the Habsburg, the Austrian ruler. Now, very important were the Society of Jesus, or called the Jesuits, and the Holy Roman Empire with the Emperor and the territorial princes. Beginning of the 16th century, there was the uh, Reformation, um, Martin Luther's Reformation, and the Protestant faith could, establish, could be established in wide parts of the Holy Roman Empire. These Protestant territories were flourishing, they were flourishing, and want to have more and more independence. Of course, that undermined the authority of the emperor and had to lead to political conflict. The emperor faced growing difficulties to justify his position as overlord over the empire. But there was not only a political conflict or political dimension, there was also a theological dimension, because the Catholic Church actually needed, refor needed reforms. So now, firstly, to the theological dimension, Important as mentioned was the Society of Jesus, and that was founded by Ignacio de Loyola in 1534. Main objective, now we will have a strict orientation to its Bible. That goes very well along with Martin Luther, but they also said it was more important this absolute discipline to its church, to its Pope, to its Rome. And there, of course, the conflict with the Protestant faith is on. From around 1550, Jesuits spread, uh, the, spread in the Holy Roman Empire that salvation exclusively lies within the Catholic Church. As mentioned earlier, reforms were necessary within the Catholic Church and they were partially undertaken in the Council of Trent, which lasted for um, nearly two decades in the middle of the 16th century. Key aspect was to strengthen the actual role, the core of the church, meaning the pastoral care. Now, the political dimension. In 1531, Protestant territories founded the Schmalkaldic League, a defensive alliance. The emperor was definitely not happy with that, and um, he he provoked a war, if you will, and the Schmalkaldic War broke out. The Emperor won this war and gained more influence, whilst the Schmalkaldic League had to dissolve itself and the Protestants lost influence. Then, important date was 1555, the Augsburg Settlement, and a key, key result of the settlement was Cuius Regio, Eus Religio, meaning who rules the territory and has the right to determine its religion. From 1576 onwards, the Habsburg, the House of Habsburg started to oppress Protestants in their ancestral lands with quite drastic means. And there was the War of Cologne, with the threat that Cologne would be converted into a Protestant principality. But the Catholic side and the Emperor, especially Bavaria and Habsburg, could uh, prevent this, and so that Cologne remained. Catholic. And then we have the Thirty Years' War, which started as a religious war, in the end it was a political war about influence and devastated the um, empire. And as mentioned, the patent of tolerance marked the end of the Counter-Reformation in 1781. Consequence and impact. Actually, after the Thirty Years' War, the denominations in Europe haven't changed too much with regards to uh, geography. We still have um, Protestants in the north and in Switzerland and the rest in the south you have um, Catholics. It's a long-term establishment of Protestant Catholic areas not only in Germany but also in Europe. German states during the process gained more and more power, meaning of course on the other side that the emperor lost influence. With time, especially after the Thirty Years' War, the denominations were less important for the 
the future development of Germany and Europe. And of course, that was this, these developments were the first precondition for the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire at the beginning of the 19th century. There was the Counter Reformation in five.